Thursday, that means it's hooked on East Texas time. And did you know there is a Hall of Fame for just about every sport? And in Texas, we've got one for freshwater fishing. The Texas Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame is looking for its next member and accepting nominations. Here's a look at what it takes to be a fishing Hall of Famer. And these are all people and organizations and industry partners that have contributed to what makes Texas one of the best fishing destinations in the world. More than three dozen anglers and organizations make up the Hall of Fame. The recently renovated hall is inside the Texas Freshwater Fisheries Center in Athens. Plaques, interactive displays, and a newly added members spotlight highlight Hall of Famers such as Ed Bond. He's credited with bringing striper and hybrid striped bass to Texas. We can thank this fishery scientist for doing that. What a tremendous impact that he had on the Texas freshwater fishing. It's not just anglers, but also writers, scientists, and organizations, including the Lake Fork Sportsman Association. The history of Texas fishing traced through these touchscreens. Bob Kemp. Bob Kemp was the division director of the Inland Fisheries Division back in 1972. He's credited with helping pay the way to bring four to largemouth bass to Texas when we first started soccer in 72. He actually paid for those out of his own pocket. That's leadership, and we wouldn't have the fish in a day if it wasn't for guys like Bob Kemp. Shane Wilson is the most recent inductee. He founded Fishing's Future. The Retired School Teachers Initiative led to thousands of families reconnecting through fishing. Next month, Gary Klein is enshrined. Klein's four-decade-long career includes 500 pro-level tournaments. Klein helped develop Major League Fishing. And Gary took it to the next level by developing Major League Fishing, a catch-way immediate release format that really increases the survival of bass in these tournaments. And we can't forget Sugar Ferris. She co-founded Bass and Gals, the first women's pro bass circuit. So a lot of just tremendous things, and we get to remember, remember them here and honor them here and teach a little bit about our history and hopefully not just recognize and honor them, but also inspire others to step up and do their part with whatever their background is to support the future of great fishing in Texas. Nominations for the Hall of Famer being accepted through November 1st. The winner will be announced in the spring of 2023.